now guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel and we have got so much to cover inside of this video. First off, my Dark Elixir storage is almost at 200,000 Dark Elixir. At some point in this video, we will either be upgrading the Queen 194,000 Dark Elixir or of course the Barbarian King who is going to cost us a total of... 188,000 guys. To be honest, we're probably going to be upgrading the Queen to level 48. Now, if we head over to the Clan Games, there is a new Clan Games which has just started. This is the world record, the biggest COC Clan Games in history so far. This is celebrating the Lunar New Year. There used to be a 7 tier reward system, guys, of 50,000 points. Now, there is an 8 tier reward system consisting of 75,000 points and for the first time there is now a new magic item called the book of everything guys this extremely powerful magic encyclopedia can be used to instantly complete any upgrowing upgrade works in both villages guys so literally you can use that for absolutely anything so uh, that's pretty cool shout out to supercell guys now we actually have a bone to pick with supercell if we go into the shop Check that out, the Lunar New Year value pack, guys, and underneath it, it says Great Value. Now, Supercell actually made a huge mistake. There have been loads of complaints going to Supercell regarding this Lunar New Year pack, guys. It actually said four times value and cost $100, so everyone was complaining on the internet because they were saying, how is it four times value? You're paying $100 for 14,000 gems. 125,000 Dark Elixir, which doesn't even cost $100. So that means the Book of Heroes Supercell was valuing at $250. For a Book of Heroes, they are selling a Book of Heroes for $250, guys. That is absolutely ludicrous. And that is the reason why I will not be buying the Lunar New Year value pack, guys. But let me know down below in that comment section, what value pack do you have? What town hall are you? How much is it? And what are they offering you? So we're going to get ourselves into a live attack. We're going to start these clan games. We're going to build up to 194,000 Dark Elixir. Then we're going to do an upgrade to either A, the King, or B, the Queen. I think I'm going to go with this minor army, guys. Let me just gem up the army. We're going to boost ourselves the barracks, grab ourselves the heroes, and we're going to get ourselves into attack number one. Now, we are looking solely, of course, for that Dark Elixir, guys. Let's see if we can get up to 200,000, and then we will be upgrading our heroes. Now, do not forget... There is also a four times star bonus, so we only need a one star, and then the Dark Elixir storage should be 100% maxed out, guys. So let's do this. Let's get ourselves into the first live attack. Leave a like if you are here watching this video, guys. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. On our way to 2.5 million subscribers, as we hopefully, fingers crossed, are approaching a new huge update inside of the game, guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back at the click of a finger. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so we have landed on our target, guys. 2,000 Dark Elixir in the core. Town Hall, Inferno Towers, Eagle Artillery, the bottom of the base. Looks quite heavily protected, guys. So I think we're going to avoid the bottom. And I think we're going to come in here on the edge. So let's do this. There goes the Queen. We're going to drop a Baby Dragon in on the other side just to try at least to create some sort of a funnel. And we're going to use a Rage Spell on my Queen, possibly... Maybe not. Hold on. No, we don't need a Rage Spell, guys. Okay, so Queen is most likely going to go to the right-hand side, which means we are probably going to do a funnel over here. So let me start this off. I'm going to use a Baby Dragon to take out that building. There goes the Archer Queen's ability. Wall Breakers are going to go in, and we're going to drop a Rage Spell on my Queen and the Wall Breakers, guys. So here we go. Queen is going to make her way into the base now. She should actually take out all those buildings, guys, including, of course, the Grand Warden. And we'll come in with the Barbarian King and our Miners on the other side. Here we go. Let's rumble this base and see what we can do. So there goes the Poison Spell, but it looks like my Queen is... Oh, damn. I'm going to lose my Queen, guys. Wow, we're in trouble here. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. There goes a Hill Spell. Wow. We're in serious trouble. I actually, uh, I, I kind of messed this right up. But all we need is a one star. So it's all good, guys. Here we go. Hill spells. Hill spells. And we are into the core of this base, guys. So we're going to get max Dark Elixir no matter what. As long as we grab a one star, it will be good, guys. Here we go. We're on the Dark Elixir storage. We're also on that Tesla Tower. 45. 45%. Slowly climbing. 48. There goes a... Oh, damn. Come on. 48. 49. 
49, we got this. We got the hero stand. There it goes. Let's end that there, guys. What did we get? 1,600, 1,500 from the bonus, and another 7,200. And that, my friends, has taken us to a max dot elixir storage. So let's collect that. And let me grab a screenshot of this beautiful Max Dark Elixir, guys. We're going to pull it up the top here. Let's take it into the corner. And I'm going to grab a screenshot just in case I want to use it for a thumbnail, guys. So we've got 200,000 Dark Elixirs. So, swinging back down to the Archer Queen. Upgrade is about to take place. 194,000. Let's do this, guys. And that's going to send her to level 48. Plus 12 damage per second, 40 on the hit points, regeneration time is an extra minute, and the ability level is still the same, guys. So there it is. Now, do I have a book of heroes? Let's go into the magic items. I've got, what is this, a book of building? I want to sell that. Let me grab 50 gems. I don't need it. And we haven't got any other magic items, guys. So we're going to have to upgrade the Archer Queen. 999 gems. Just grabbing a couple of screenshots in case I want to use it for a thumbnail, guys. And we are good. Here we go. Level 48. And we're back down to 6,000 Dark Elixir. So a little bit more in the actual, uh, in the treasury. And we are going to collect that. So now, my friends, heading into the clan games. So we got a few choices here. And I'm going to click on this one, guys. What is this? Destroy three Barbarian King Orders in multiplayer battles. Let's do that. One hour. Let's get the job done. So I do want to change my army now. This uh, this minor attack strategy kind of sucks. Let's go for an air attack. But uh, let's do one more minor attack and see if we can do a little bit better than the previous raid, guys. So we're going to get ourselves straight into this live attack. Here we go. I don't have anything to spend my gold or elixir on, by the way, if you're wondering why have I got max loot. We are pretty much a maxed out town all 11, just trying to upgrade the heroes. Boom, we've landed, and we have landed pretty good. 4,000 Dark Elixir, awesome. So we're looking at a 100% bonus if we can get over 70% damage. So we definitely want a two-star, guys, but to be honest with you, this is a town all 10.5, and there is a chance we could really wreck this dude's base, guys. So we're going to start off here with the Archer Queen. Baby Dragon's going to go and take out all of those gold collectors. And the queen, I'm really hoping here, is going to go left, guys. It all depends on what I can do with these baby dragons. So I'm going to drop another one down the bottom there. Queen looks like she is all good, but uh, to be honest, it looks like she is going to swing to the right-hand side, which is good. If that's cool, doesn't matter. Here we go. Let's move in with the wolf breakers, and we're in. Okay. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting, guys. I'm actually going to use the Grand Warden with the Archer Queen. And I'm going to try and wreck loads of this dude's base. So, there goes the king. Couple of miners on the right, and then the rest of them are going to go through the center. There goes a heal spell and a poison spell onto the defending CC, guys. And we are in a good position here to really wreck this dude's base. So, I'm going to use the Grand Warden's ability shortly. There it goes, trying to keep those miners, at least the majority of them, up alive we're gonna drop down another hill spell just around the top area of the base guys and we are into the core so let's go let's do this hill spells gonna go down we've got miners wrecking this dude's base some around the wing on the right hand side king is in the center there goes the barbarian king's ability but it looks like my healers are unfortunately under fire guys now that kind of sucks because my queen is stuck on a level 12 wall that is brutal it is gonna take so long for my queen to smash through the wall and the healers have been killed queen is all on her own guys she finally gets through but it's way too late but there goes the queen's ability she's gonna drop all these defenses in the center level 48 queen an absolute tank guys but still no opponent can stay alive for that long in the center of a base guys and we go down we go down a heroic death but we did get 70 percent so let's end it there check it out 4000 plus 1880 and that's already taken me back up to a total of 12,500 Dark Elixir, guys. So that is pretty damn sweet. So we're going to do one final live attack. We're going to be using an air attack strategy. Going to see if we can continue to get even more Dark Elixir, guys. So we are obviously going to be gemming our heroes, General Tony, back in the game. And we're going to continue with the Dark Elixir. So another triple star. And we'll get ourselves another uh, another four times treasure bonus. So that's pretty sweet. Another four times star bonus. Boom, we're in. So we are in. Okay, checking out this dude's base. I'm kind of feeling to use some wall breakers there. What we're going to do 
It's going to be a very simple queen walk down the bottom. Baby dragon on the right hand side to take out the barrack. And we're going to use the Barbarian King and, of course, the Grand Warden with our heroes, guys. So, once the Queen takes out this clan castle, it will possibly be time. Hold on. Let me weigh up this base, guys. Here we go. Yep, there goes the King. There goes the rest of the troops. And a Rage Spell. I want this Wall Breaker to break in. And she's in. Well, he's in. The Wall Breaker's in. The Queen drifting off to the right-hand side. Kind of sucks, but here we go. She's pulling back. That is what I wanted, guys, because now she can take out the air defenses. There goes the Barbarian King's ability, and I want the Queen to go right. Hopefully, she's going to go right and take out the rest of these buildings. Now, there goes the Grand Warden's ability, guys, trying to keep the healers up and alive as well. Going to drop down another Rage Spell, see if I can get this Queen to somehow... Take out that air defense, guys. The air defense is wrecking me right now. Let's pop the queen's ability. There it goes. But at least we've made a ginormous funnel. We're looking at a funnel of 30% damage, guys. That is huge. And the archer queen goes down with the grand warden. So we've lost all of our uh, all of our heroes. But it's cool. Now it's time to move in with an air attack, guys. Now I want that dark elixir. So we're gonna start this off. Dragon. Let's leave that to do its job. Another dragon. And dragon, dragon, dragon. Baby dragon, baby dragon, baby dragon. And balloons. Let's go. Two minions. Hey spell. Hey spell. Let's do this, guys. We got a clone spell. No rage spell, unfortunately. But we should be good. There goes a clone spell. Can we get these balloons to wreck the entire core of this base? Already taken down the first Inferno Tower. We got the balloons swinging into the center with a couple of dragons just in behind. Taking a little bit of that Dark Elixir, guys. Here we go. Another balloon comes in, drops the Eagle Artillery, and we're onto the Dark Elixir. Yes. Getting a couple of shots at least, guys. Awesome way to end the video. So we're going to end this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you shortly, guys. Peace out.